Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to put together a system of garage shelving. I can't wait to show you. Hi, I'm Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day and I am here in the Bat Bunker. And if you've been watching the channel, you know that I have been considering this space as my primary collection space and it's most likely going to happen. I'm very, very excited. This is a very, very exciting project. Uh, my plan is to maybe do some epoxy flooring down here. It's going to be an incredible experience. I, of course, am going to document every single second of it for you guys so you can come along the journey here as I convert this into the brand new bat cave it's very very exciting bat bunker bat cave whatever you want to call it but <clears throat> one thing that i've done here on the channel over the years is i've always used garage shelving and i'm trying to figure out what aesthetically would look great in a concrete type room and i feel like very um you know steampunk or very industrial would look very very good and so i've actually come across these shelves and i'm going to show you them today um, i feel like they are going to be possibly perfect as a display options for the center of the room as i have some you know kind of museum stands basically where i can display newest stat my newest statues in the middle of the of the bat bunker here so i'm going to show you how to put these together today if you are ever interested and i want to show you at least a, you know why i found these uh why i like them because they're definitely an upgrade from what i had before this is uh, armadillo five shelf storage rack um, right there uh, four thousand pound weight capacity 800 maximum weight per shelf which will hold quite a lot um, but the thing that I really like about these are you know most garage shelving have all of the holes in the front which I don't like that look you know some people will tape the front or do different things um, but th these don't these actually have real fronts and I bought this at Sam's Club and uh, I've seen some very similar ones at Costco um, but I have a Sam's where I live and so I'm really excited to do this. So I thought, well, why not um, show you how to build one of these? I thought maybe some of you would appreciate uh, putting one of these together. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to put one of these together, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, guys, so I've already cut the straps, and let's see what we get in here. All right, so obviously you have these great uh, metal fronts, and hopefully you guys can see what this looks like here. Um, it's a really great... Uh, kind of this galvanized look. It's really a really nice clean finish and as you can see it's got the holes inside so that is really nice but the fronts are clean. Isn't that awesome? Very very cool. Okay so anyway, I'm going to take all of these out and we'll set them here. <laughs> Obviously, we've got the actual rails too. Now, this is very similar to the other rails that I have, but again, it's got that great, great uh, finish, which is nice. It's uh, you know, it's not just straight black, but it's got a texture to it. Um, I just think it looks really, really slick. I love it. Love it. Love it. So basically, these are the two configurations that I was talking about, um, so you can get an idea. So you can have the tall shelf, or you can also have the two short shelves, and even that you can div do different configurations as well. Um, so those are the dimensions between the two, uh, which again is really nice to be able to put them side by side like that, or you can make a tall shelf as well depending on the height of your room, but that's really cool. Uh, there's also all of these things that come with it as well. These are things that are going to join um, the holes together and give it stability. So uh, I'll show you how to put all that together. And just to show you guys, so this is the, uh, they're kind of like L brackets, they're plastic, but they're going to go in the end caps basically um, as a buffer. And then there's also these pieces right here. Uh, hopefully you can see that okay. These are going to join the corners together. Okay. So anyway, these are the plastic pieces that come with it uh, just to show you what that looks like. So basically you're going to take these L-shaped brackets and they are going to go and fit in to the corners of the main brackets that are going to go up. So depending on how you want it, that's what you're going to do, okay? Then you're going to take, uh, we'll just take one of the side brackets basically, and you're going to take this where it shows. Now you're going to want the flat part up here, the flat part of this, that is where um, the, the shelving actually is going to go. So that actually goes to the inside. Okay, so you want a clean front 
And then what you're gonna do is you're simply going to put this, let me see if I can kind of show you here. Um, <clears throat> depending on where you want this, you're going to, there's, there's these two little metal brackets. You're gonna put them in the holes and then you're gonna push down. Uh, the directions recommend you do a mallet, you can do that. Um, I usually just use my strength, <laughs> but basically you just put them in the holes and push down. And then that's the look you get whenever it's together, okay? So I'm gonna keep going here and we will add another wrap, which is great. These little <coughs> pieces actually hold up the, the stand to the spine. So again, you, you get yourself a stand, you put the corner piece in, Again, you can tap it in with a, a mallet if you want, but it goes in really easily, actually. Um, and then you do the exact same thing on this side. So you're going to match it up. Uh, the hole is up, it's kind of like a hole with a narrow part. You put the hole up top, and then you let gravity kind of do its thing. done basically you get into something like this right it's just like this u shape well then that is whenever you take two more let's see if i can get this to stand up here without it falling anyway i'll just place it so basically you take two more and then that's whenever you join it with the the longer pieces so we'll do that next so when you add the long pieces this is basically what you're getting so again you're just literally connecting the dots basically and then we're going to put the uh the other two poles right there on here. And then we just keep building. We keep making it basically a big rectangle using these interior holes. Okay, so pretty simple. Let's keep going. Okay, so this is basically where we're at now. Uh, we have all four sides. Now this is where you can add, if you wanna add, you know, like a mid shelf, you know, again, you would just put the sides all the way around using the short and the longs. Again, let me show you what that looks like, again, the texture. But again, just make sure that this channel, this groove right here, is on the inside. So again, if we were gonna do this, we would put it just like this, okay? On the inside, because this is what holds, this, this flat part right here is what holds the shelves together. Um, and so what I'm gonna do, though, is I wanna have some open space in the bottom, and so I'm just gonna create the top basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete that part next. As you put these in, like I said, you can um, you know, hit it with a mallet or if you just kind of push down, you should, hear, you should hear a snap. I've already pushed mine down, but just wanted to show you that that, you know, you should be able to hear kind of a click sound. Um, you know, even if you wanna like use your foot and just kind of like push down as you put these in, that's fine. Um, but you really don't need the mallet if you don't have one, just use some force. So when you're to that point, this is basically what it looks like. Again, you're basically just creating a big rectangle. Then you can also then come and put them in the tops. So where they're open here at the top, you can see that. We're just gonna put them in there, snap them into place. Again, you can use a mallet if you want, but they do snap in. That does give it a, more of a finished, clean look. Um, and now we're going to uh, add the shelving down below and up top. So here I have the first shelf in. And as you can see, it's got a really nice finish to it, kind of this shiny, but it's also textured just like the fronts, uh, which is again, really great. I don't know if you guys can see that texture really well, but it's really, really attractive, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and put the, uh, the top one in as well. So as you can see, this is kind of the finished look, um, which is great. Uh, you can definitely put some LED lighting underneath, which would look great. And then of course, this is the top. So you can continue to build up if you want to using those connectors. Um, you can go another, you know, basically two levels. So it'd be four shelves. Um, but for my purposes, I'm probably going to leave it at this height. I really like the way it displays at this height. I think it just looks better. And so again, my plan is to have some of these in the middle of the room, um, possibly in different configurations to kind of highlight, you know, uh, whatever, are either are my favorite statues or are possibly ones that um, you know are going to go in and out of the back cave just to kind of highlight the newest pieces um, but then again all the other ones will be on the sides so i might use these on the sides as well i'm going to kind of play around with it and see what i think uh, if i like this shelf um, but i do love the finished look i love that it's um, you know already done you don't have to put anything on it um, 
You don't have to go out and buy anything else, um, which is great. Um, these shelves were all around, I think, 90 bucks per box. So as of today, I've bought four boxes. So that'll get me, you know, eight shelves, basically, because this is just half. So I'll take this one, and then I've got all of this, and I'll just build another one. So that gives me two shelves, basically, for the price of one, which is great. So anyway, that's kind of how it looks, and that's how you put it together. I wanted to show you what it looked like with a statue on it. So obviously, you know, these could accommodate a lot. <laughs> you know, you could have a life-size bus next to this or whatever, um, and then I'll obviously have statues down below as well. I don't love to have statues down below. Uh, I might do that on the sides, but anyway, I just wanted to show you what this looks like. Um, again, I think it will complement the Batcave pretty well. Um, the black pops against the gray really nicely, I think. But uh, let me know what you guys think about these shelves. Um, let me know if this was helpful, uh, if this is something that you might want to buy and add to your collection room. Uh, again, really simple and it holds a tremendous amount of weight. Um, <clears throat> there are other, you know, great options out there like Modicase. Uh, they're very expensive. Um, and this basically is the Modicase look. Um, but you can even put, you know, white panels on the back. If you want to have that, if you want to put LED lighting, like I said, it's all pretty simple. But this will cost you, you know, <clears throat> around $100. So pretty affordable in my opinion. So this is what it looks like in the room. Again, I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with it and see what I think. Um, obviously, you know, something like this would accommodate a lot. More likely probably put some on the sides. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But anyway, it's a nice, clean, finished look. Again, you add some lighting to it if you want to underneath. And they have a really polished look. Um, Again, I just really recommend this, and uh, hopefully this was helpful on how to put them together. But anyway, another step toward completion here on the Batcave. Very, very excited about the possibilities. Obviously, again, I've got a lot of stuff I've got to clean out. Uh, I've got to figure out the flooring. I'm right now trying to figure out epoxy flooring or um, carpet or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, another step toward the Bat Bunker. So anyway, like I said, hopefully this was helpful. And if it was helpful, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. Again, I'm just super, super pumped about the possibilities in this space. I think it is very, very exciting to you know come up with something new and have so much more space to display my collectibles that I love. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope again, hopefully this helps a little bit. And if it did, again, please like the video, share it, whatever. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you soon right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody.